another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So in today's video I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my town um, after two weeks of progress. So a couple of things I want to point out before we start is it's been a little over two weeks now. Um, so obviously there is a couple of days more than two weeks. Um, I haven't time traveled at all and yeah I haven't cheated or anything at all I've just been playing the game on my own and collecting things so um, please don't judge it too harshly it's only been two weeks and this isn't meant to be a finished town so let's just get on with the video I guess so this is the front of my house over here we've got my little garden table with my tea set and my um, sugar cubes and my cupcake which is an item you can get from the birthday event because um, Tyler already had a birthday in this game um, he got loads of cupcakes that he could give to people so he gave me one and I'm using it as like decoration outside in my garden to look like we're having a little tea party and so over here I have my birdhouse and my bird bath um, just because I really love birds and I think that they'd really enjoy um, just sitting in my garden and stuff and I have this little plant next to it so they can hide in there because I know birds like to hide in plants sometimes because they get a bit afraid and um, Behind that we have my teddy bear which I've customised to have a pink t-shirt, I have my cherry bonsai which I crafted from the cherry blossom petals and it's sitting on an iron table that Tyler gifted to me because I haven't unlocked the recipe for that yet but it's one of my favourite items um, so I'm really happy I have that. Over here is my um, pink watering can, it was an angry red one but I customised it to be pink and of course I've got my pink and white hyacinths, my cherry trees and I have my door decoration is a gift from my friend Maggie. So thank you so much Maggie if you're watching. I really love my door decoration. It's just a pink welcome sign and I love it so much. And I've got some tulips and things like that over here as well. Some bunny day balloons because it's coming up to bunny day now. Over here I've just got my little plant collection. I've got some cat grass, my petals that I'm collecting. Uh, my terrarium and my succulents because I don't have anywhere to put them at the moment because my house is a bit cramped um, So I'm just keeping a couple of my couple of my plants out here Over here we have my cherry trees and my washing line I know you're probably thinking why is there a futon in front of the washing line, but I like to imagine that um, I just go and sit in the garden sometimes I sit on the little futon area and read a book under the washing as it's drying and things like that um, I just imagine that my garden is a really nice place where I can snuggle up under the trees and read a book and stuff. And so over here is my crafting table and my baby chair which is everyone's favourite item. I love this baby chair so much, it makes the cutest noise when you sit on it. <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> I love it so much. And yeah, the cute crafting table was a gift from my friend Maggie as well. So again, thank you so much, Maggie. Um, so that's the front of my house at the moment. So why don't we go have a look on the inside? Okay, so here's the inside of my house. The first thing you see is the welcome sign, which I got from Sahara. I have my coffee table with my painting set and my book on here to read. Um, I have these iron tables that I customised to be white a cute chair, a mug of tea, my Apple TV which was a gift from Tyler, um, my pear wardrobe which was another gift from Maggie, um, my toy box which was a gift from Oath maybe? Um, it might not have been Oath, it might have been someone else, I'm sorry, it was someone from my Discord server but I really can't remember right now who it's from, um, I'll check later and put your name on the screen, so thank you so much to whoever that was, I'm so sorry I forgot who it was, um, I have my Tom Nook poster, my cat grass and my little cat on one over here with my cat tower and cat bed because I have a cat in real life, his name's Archie so I like to imagine that um, this is him in the game for me right now. I have lots of designs on the wall that I've used as canvases. Um, my happy home designer awards, my post of ruby, you might be thinking how did I get that? Um, my friend Jim has a friend who can get any amiibos poster so they got that for me so thank you so much Jim and to your friend. Um, I really wish I could have Ruby, but yeah. <laughs> Over here's my rice cooker and my mixer, my plants and my record player, another happy home designer, a board, my tulip brief, and I have some of my favourite songs in this house because Stale Cupcakes is one of my favourite songs ever, and I'm so happy I was finally able to get it. Um, I also have a cherry lamp over here because as you guys know I love cherries, and cherries is always the fruit of Lil Land. Um, I have a peach chair which my friend Jemima gave me, thank you so much Jemima. 
I have this really cute pink plant, um, the cute tea table, um, and I have the cute sofa as well. And so over here I have my pink customised wardrobe, which I know you guys saw me craft in a video, I think it was one of the first Let's Play videos. Um, I've still got that. I could probably get a white one to match the rest of the furniture, but I don't know, I'm just a bit attached to it being pink at the moment. In the background I have my bedroom, but over here I have my plants, my lamp, and my goldfish. And the goldfish is in a completely different bowl in this game to the old games. So I was really shocked when I saw that, and a lot of times people come over and say, what is that in the corner? <laughs> and I have to say, it's a goldfish, like you have to move the camera up to see. Um, I have my accessory stand on top of here. Um, this fan at the moment, I think it doesn't match the room that well, but I really like it because look how lovely it makes the plants sway in the wind. Like that's so nice, isn't it? And I have my hat hanging on the wall and my phone, of course, so I can ring all my friends. And over here I have the magic set, which you guys know I love because a little bunny pops out. It's sitting on top of my orchid mantis, I think is what it's called. Um, I have my Animal Crossing switch my little sea globe, an egg table, and here's my little bedroom which I customised to have bedding which is almost the same as mine in real life. And up here I, I have some fairy lights, I have this little, I can't remember what it's called, that babies have where it's like it hangs over the cot to calm them down but it has loads of fish and stuff like that on it because I think it's really cute. I have the classic flower dress which my character's face, um, her starting character usually starts off with that dress so I thought it was a really nice throwback to have that dress hanging up and of course I have the little cute poster above it as well and my mirror and bookshelf. So here's my toilet, a bit of a weird thing to do. <laughs> toilet tour! But here's my toilet, um, it's a bit mismatched at the moment, I don't have much toilet furniture but I did just manage to get a lot of these items in balloons. Um, so I was like, I have all of this bathroom stuff, I might as well make a bathroom. Um, so I have an ironing board, an infuser, a litter tray for Archie. I really like opening and closing the curtains. Um, you can have a little bath here, and I've got my wash tub that you can craft as well. And of course I need to have pyjamas on in here if we're going to have a bath. Um, I have this candle, um, these fish ornaments, which I think I got in an episode as well. My bathroom sink, my toilet, and <laughs> my toilet cleaner. Um, this is like a men's toilet. Oh. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we have the... I can't remember what it's called. One of those things people clean their butts in. I have one of those as well. Um, my windflower fan. I have my makeup table over here, which actually has nail varnish on it. But it sort of looks like makeup, so I really like it over there. And I have my brooms on the wall so I can clean up. My hoover. Ironing board, I think I already mentioned that. And my egg clock on the wall over there. Oh, I also have this little chef outfit for when I'm cooking for my friends and things like that. Okay, so why don't we get on with the actual island tour? It's cherry blossom season right now, so I really wanted to do one while in cherry blossom season. Over here is my private beach. Um, I have my sandcastle, which I got in a Let's Play episode as well. I have this little fishing area over here. I have this special fish fishing rod. Um, I haven't actually used it, I just keep it here for display. I got it in my friend's town. And yeah, my sandcastle's here, I have this little bonfire area, this cherry umbrella that my friend Anne gave me, so thank you so much Anne. Um, yeah, there's this little area here, I crafted this shell stool so that you can sit on the stool and cook some food and things like that. And I really love it over here, I love having a little beach right next to my house, I think it's really lovely. And yeah, it's so peaceful here, I really love it. And so over here we have a little picnic area, I have this doll, which is the same doll from Ica Village, but she's in green. Um, <laughs> she's not so scary, I promise, but I kind of like that she's a bit creepy. I have my picnic basket and my pink roses, which were a gift from my friend Maggie as well, so thank you so much Mags. Um, you've given me basically everything that's cute in my town, so thank you so much. I love it so much over here. And so if we head back over here... Um, let's head to the right and into the main part of the town. So, over here we have the bunny day balloons as I mentioned before. I actually really like them, I think they're so cute. And over here we have the fairy garden where I'm just breeding hybrids at the moment. Um, I really like it here, I think it's super cute. And it's a really good area actually to collect more hybrids to decorate the town with. So, yeah, I know it's kind of small but I really really like it. 
And so over here, we have the pathway to the town hall. And here's the town hall area. There's my flag, which I don't know if I've shown you guys this flag yet, but yeah, I changed it up. I really like this one a lot more. Here's my little sign I made to direct you to the shop. And yeah, you actually walk diagonally to the shop over this little bridge. Out the front of the shop, we have this little area where you can sit under the cherry blossoms. The chair is a bit too far behind at the moment, so the tree is directly on your face. But yeah, we have the fortune cookie cart from Pocket Camp, which I really love. And I think it looks so cute outside their shop. And this little bench over here you can sit on and watch the fish swim by under the river. And yeah, we have the Zen bridge in the background. It looks so lovely, especially at sunset like this. Over here we have this little picnic area, which I'm sure I've shown you guys many times. But I made this pathway going all the way up here, and here's the big picnic blanket. We have a candle, a magazine, and the Sakura picnic set, which again, Maggie gave to me, so thank you Maggie. Um, yeah, I really love it over here. We also have a teddy bear fortune teller over there. Um, so if you want to get your fortune told, you can go sit with him and he'll tell you all about your future and your lucky items and things like that since we don't have Katrina in the game. This teddy bear is doing her job for the moment. And as you can see up there we have a little pizza area. Um, I put this leaf umbrella here. I just think the leaf umbrellas look really nice scattered around the town. And I just think it's so lovely in this area, especially with the waterfall at sunset and everything. It looks so beautiful. And yeah, I just really, really love this area a lot. I know it's pretty basic, but just picnic areas make me so happy. So yeah, I really, really love it over here at the moment. And so this way, we actually have the Able Sisters shop. So if we go up these log stairs, we have a drinking fountain. Um, we have this sign of Mabel, Sable and Tom Nook. And I put these little paw prints out the front of it because I imagine that they um, like made paw prints on the floor at the day opening of their shop, you know what I mean? Because a lot of like places will have um, people's handprints and stuff on the day it opened. So I thought it was really cute to imagine them putting their paws um, like printing their paws on the floor to commemorate the day the shops opened. And yeah, I really, really love um, Tom and Sable's relationship, so I really wanted to have this poster outside the shop like this. And this is a new area, so it hasn't had as much work put into it, but I still really like it up here. Out the front of the shop over here, we have my designs, which are my designs that are Lil Land merch. So if anyone comes to visit Lil Land, you can collect Lil Land merch at the Able Sisters. There's a little bunny dress and a bunny t-shirt. And actually on the back of the t-shirt, it says Lil Land on it. And of course, there's this lovely bench you can sit on and wait for your friends to buy some clothes. Or you can sit on here facing the opposite way and watch everyone go into Nook's Cranny. And yeah, I just think this is a really cute little seating area. And over here's my secret area where you can quickly get changed if you've just bought some new clothes. Or quickly craft something. Um, I think it's really handy to have here. I'm probably not going to keep it in the long run, but for the moment it's really handy for me whenever I buy new clothes to quickly get changed over here. And yeah, over here I haven't actually done much this area yet because I haven't figured out what I want to do with it. But it's really just woodlandy at the moment, random flowers scattered everywhere. But there is this little pizza area over here, so if you wanted some fresh pizza made in the forest, you can come over here and get some. It looks really delicious if you ask me. And behind that we have this creepy little fortune teller area as well. I imagine that there's a creepy like witchy fortune teller type person who sits in here and at night time she turns up you can come get your fortune told. And yeah, so let's head off over here. So if we head over the Zen Bridge we have... We'll make our way over to the next neighbourhood. So here's B. Hi B. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, bingo. It feels like everyone on the island is holding their breath, waiting. I wonder what's coming, or who. I think she means Zipper because it's almost bunny day. <laughs> but yeah, we have lots of money trees, these sakura petals, and this destination signpost as well. I think it looks really lovely over here. This is one of my favourite areas as well, actually. I really love the destination signpost. It really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. And so here's my pond. Um, I think I fixed this up in an episode as well. Oh, I didn't realise the corner is not cornered off right. I'm going to fix that later. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's Claudia's house. I haven't quite figured out how I'm making their gardens yet. So for the moment, this is just how it is. They just have like a small strip of dirt with flowers on. But I'm definitely going to put some work into these areas and make them have their own uh, like fenced off gardens. I think each of the villagers deserve to have their own garden. And so if we walk down here we have the tree pathway which is just this really lovely um, pathway just completely covered in trees. Over here is an area I haven't figured out what I'm doing with yet. 
but I think I'm going to make a nice seating area over there. And yeah, you can walk through all the trees and come over here. There's a little crafting table because I often need to craft around this area for some reason. And we have Bee's house, which is so cute. Um, Vic is smelling the flowers over there. I made sure to give a lot of my favourite villagers um, bunny day wreaths that they decorate their door with. And here's O'Hare sweeping the floor outside his house. And he has some fleas. Well, there we go, he's much cleaner now. <laughs> I can't believe I had actual fleas on my body. Don't they know I love wrap my hair with Cherries and Cougar premium shampoo? And so in front of O'Hare's house we have this little gnome. Um, this is Vic's house. I don't like Vic very much so he kind of just has a bin next to his house and a tyre. But I think it kind of suits him. You know, he's like an old man. I imagine this is kind of what his house looks like. <laughs> and so yeah, you can sit here on this little tyre and look out at the beach. He also has this little barbecue item out the front as well. Um, I'm growing some palm trees at the moment at the entrances to the beach because I like to do that. I think it looks really lovely. Yeah, the beach is sort of empty at the moment, but um, I think I'm going to put some stuff here. I kind of like it being empty. It feels really nice. Oh, what's Fuchsia thinking about? Did I hear you were in the market for some full body tights? Then good news, I've got you covered, precious. Um, awesome, thanks. And all I'm asking for is 1,000 bells. No, I'm, I don't want them. Oh, come on. Well, fingers crossed someone else out there wants it, precious. I mean, I hope someone will want them, but I can't imagine anyone would want your second-hand full body tights, Fuchsia. <laughs> and so over here is my... What are they called? Um... Why is my mind just completely blocked? I can't remember what these are called, but everyone has a different one. Like, you can have a really long one or a short one. I have the really long one, which I'm happy about. Um, before I show you that area over here, there's actually a pathway up here leading to my camp area. So I'll show you my camping area. I'm going to put a, a slope there eventually, but this is Treetop Camp, and it's a little campsite on the cliffs. There's the campsite sign from Pocket Camp, which I think is perfect for this area. Um, I have a tiki torch, a little folding chair, and a campfire. It's not like the campers actually come out here and like sit in this area, which is a shame because I'd really love to see them just sat out here. But I thought I'd decorate it anyway, it makes it feel just so much more like a campsite than just a random tent. Um, I put lots of different windflowers around here, um, lots of cedar trees because of course it's treetop camp. And behind here there's a little fence and another little camping area. So we have the lantern and the camping cot and you can just lay here and watch the stars. And yeah, I really really like it over here. You can climb straight back down to this area from here. And actually there's a little pathway here leading to the next area I want to show you. But I'm still working on this. Remember this is just from two weeks of working on this. I haven't actually got it all exactly how I want at the moment. Um, but through here is the bamboo pathway. Which if we follow will lead us to the bathhouse. So if we come through here we have the little spa. There's an outdoor bath, this little area where you can clean yourself. There's a bonsai in front of this fountain. And this little recliner that you can lay on and relax. I put these zen um, fences around here just to like box it off a bit. Because um, I didn't want it to seem like it's too much part of the neighbourhood in front of it. Because obviously I wanted it to feel secluded and stuff like that. But I think it feels really really lovely over here. I really really like it. It's especially so beautiful in Sakura season. And so if we head off over to the right, we have the fish market. Which is just this little fish restaurant I've made. Um, I have some traditional tea sets over here, some music playing on the radio, another tiki torch just to brighten things up, especially at night time it gets a bit dark around here, so I made sure to put that there. Um, these pathways I made, which I think I mentioned before, we have this hearth where some fish is cooking, um, we have the clay furnace behind that, a sea bass in a tank ready to be eaten, um, <laughs> sorry to all you vegetarians, and um, yeah there's a bamboo slide to get noodles on this bamboo steamer and we have this fish menu over here, this kettle and some more traditional tea sets as well. And over here is just um, this empty area but I really really love these rocks. I think they have such a nice view of the ocean and you can see the little islands over there. I like to imagine they're some of my friends islands. Um, this is sort of the areas that haven't been worked on too much yet but I still really like it over here at the moment. And so if we head off over here we have another area which is the funfair area 
we have the teacups, which are one of my favourite items in the game. I love the teacups so much. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a massive Alice in Wonderland fan, so the teacups are just perfect for me. Um, we have the pink candy floss machine, we have this flowery Japanese sign in the background, an egg lamp, more egg balloons, and I just think it feels so happy over here. Um, in the UK, we often have um, fun fairs like by the beach. Um, I live near like a beach town and there's always like fun fairs there and everything like that. So it really reminds me of that and the teacups remind me a bit of Disneyland as well. So uh, yeah, I just really, really like it over here. And so if we head back to this side of the island, um, we have my beautiful bridge, which I think we had the opening ceremony for on our Let's Play. I just really love the placement of this bridge because it's right by where the river becomes the ocean. So it just looks so beautiful. Um, we have this marketplace item, which is from Pocket Camp as well. Um, all these blue and white and yellow flowers, which match the globe in the middle in front of the museum. As you can see, we have a little dinosaur sign in front of the museum as well. I think it's perfect for it. It's like showing that there's a dinosaur exhibit on at the moment or something like that. To the right over here, I haven't figured out what I'm doing. I just have a little fossil out here at the moment. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm doing in this area yet. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to figure this part out. Over here quickly, there's just another little uh, campfire area on this tiny beach. This tiny beach is one of my favourites actually, just because it's so simple. We have this barrel and some tyres you can sit on as well. Um, but yeah, over here is Teddy Bear Park. And we have this fountain in the middle, these leaves, all these lilies and windflowers. We have lots of teddy bears, the Tower of Pisa, and my matching teddy bear outfit is perfect for this area. Um, basically, whenever I get a teddy bear, I can't bring myself to get rid of it, so I've just ended up with a big collection of them. Um, so at the moment I'm just hoarding them in this park. I have the Tower of Pizza, which is... <laughs> pizza. <laughs> the Tower of Pizza, which is actually leaning now. Because in one of my episodes I got it and I was confused that it wasn't leaning. All you have to do is turn it around and it should be leaning. Um, so yeah, I really prefer it like this. I have my swinging bench, which I customised to be white. This pink gingham teddy bear, which I'm so happy I got because it's the one I desperately wanted because I saw a screenshot of it before the game was released. And yeah, I'm so happy I got this in a balloon. Um, I've put some pathways around the fountain. It's still a work in progress, but this is just it for the moment. I made this flower cart with flowers collected from all my friends' towns, which means it just makes me so much more happier than if I crafted it with flowers from my own town. And I customised it to be white and gold, which I prefer a lot more to the brown version. And yeah, here's my little swingy bench. You can sit here and relax with your friends when they come to visit. Like I said, it's still work in progress, but I really like this area as well. And so if we head off over here, here's the entrance to the town. So if you were to come visit Little Land, you walk up this big pathway of pink and blue hybrid flowers. Um, if you head to the left, we have a telephone box, another cherry blossom pile, this little petrol can for the bonfire. This is the main area where me and my friends usually hang out when they come over because there's a lot of space to sit and things like that. Um, I have these um, shoes on the floor to look like someone took their shoes off to go walk on the beach. Over here we have another tea table so you can sit here and have tea with your friends. I put this hay bale here because I went to a food fair last summer and there were hay bales everywhere that you could sit on. Um, so I really wanted to recreate that feeling. I know your character lays on it, but I like to imagine that everyone's character sits on it instead. Because actually sitting on hay bales is really comfortable. And like I said, over here is my telephone box. My town's telephone box is actually green, so I traded with someone on my Discord server for the white one, which I prefer so much more. And of course, as you guys know, I'm British, so I had to have the telephone box in my town somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think it looks really cute over there with the pathway underneath it. Over here's the shoes. I put these paw print designs that look like someone um, is barefoot on the sand. Over here, I have my rainbow umbrella and rainbow towel on the floor. Um, if you didn't know, I'm bisexual, so pride and all that. And over here is my candy floss machine. I have a second one because someone gifted me one when I already had one. My exercise ball, which everyone always loves to play with when they come visit. And over here is just my basic um, furniture, like my little chair and my cooler. I have the sand dollar table, which I love so much. And um, Tyler actually got the recipe for it and made it for me, which I was so happy about because I just think shell furniture on the beach just looks so lovely. 
And yeah, over here we have my hammock, which I put between two coconut trees because it really reminds me of those like holiday ads, the classic holiday drawings where there'll be a hammock um, hung on to two coconut trees. And yeah, I have this little pillow you can sit here in the sun and this towel you can sit here and sunbathe. Um, I think I'm going to add a lot more things to this area in the summer. But for now, this is it. And I really, really like it. It's such a nice place to just hang out with my friends. Um, over here is my favourite item I have. It's a little squirrel orchestra and they just sing and play music and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And of course there's a pillow in front of it so I can play the music for my friends when they visit and they can sit on the pillow and watch and then they can play it for me and I can watch and things like that. And so behind that I have um, a little clothes dryer. I made sure to have like little items like this in front of all the villagers' homes. Like there's a tricycle here and some flowers for fuchsia and another clothes dryer here just to make the houses seem more lived in and it actually feels like a little neighborhood. Um, my town has a green lamppost so I traded with someone for these white ones. Um, yeah, I'd really recommend trading for items if you don't have the ones you want. His tutu. Wow, Lulu, we're seeing a lot of one another today. You had a pretty good time, huh? It's so great that Magsy could come hang. I hope they get a chance to pop in again real soon, Twinkles. Yeah, Mags is the best. And so over here is my white lighthouse. Again, my town had a black and white one, unfortunately. So um, I traded loads of stuff with my friend Jemima for this white one. And I love it so much. I made it um, surrounded by white hyacinths because I just love white flowers. It just feels so clean and nice. And yeah, I know everyone has different sort of um, themes they go for with the island. Mine's definitely a more white and pink type feeling. I just really love those colours together. And Tutu's just sleeping under that tree now. She's so cute. And so yeah, this is the little neighbourhood. We have Tutu's house, Fuchsia's house, uh, Lyman's house. And then directly up from those two houses, you can come to my house. And if we walk down here, the little pathway to the left of my house, um, we have this secret area that I'm working on. So you have to use the vaulting pole to get over here. But over here is this beach. I haven't done anything to it yet. I'm not really sure what to put over here, but I'll figure something out eventually. Over here, I did have a farm, but I recently just like got rid of it. And now there's just like the leftover items. There's like a scarecrow and... Um, my wind turbine. I actually live really close to a massive field of wind turbines, so yeah, I had these um, designs on the floor to look like a turnip farm, but I recently took it down because I'm thinking of terraforming this area to be something else. Um, I haven't really figured it out yet, but for now, this is this was a farm area. Um, at the moment, it's just a mess. So yeah, I can't wait to watch this back in like a few years' time and see what I've done with this whole area because. Yeah, I just think doing this tour after only two weeks is a really good idea so that I can look back at this and be like, whoa, about how much my town has changed. Um, over here is my apple orchard. Because my natural town is cherries, I make a little bit of money from selling these apples. So yeah, this was supposed to be the farm's apple orchard. I'm not sure if I'll move that at some point. Um, but for now, it's still there. As I said, I'm working on this area. But up here is my favorite new area that I just built today. Um, it isn't finished yet obviously, but this is just the plan I was working on today. So as you can see, there's a sign that says beware of fairies. And up here is my magical fairy pond. So I have all these pink flowers. Um, obviously I've only got a couple at the moment, but I'm going to collect loads of pink flowers and cover the whole place with them. I terraformed this pond myself earlier and I just love it so much. It's really the sort of vibes I wanted. Because um, obviously on this upper layer, I wanted to create an entire fairy forest. And this pond especially, I was really trying to go for um, Zelda Breath of the Wild vibes. Because I just love Breath of the Wild so much. And there's so many little areas like this that are so beautiful. Like these massive ponds you can go visit. And I just really wanted to recreate that sort of feeling over here. Especially at sunset, I feel like it really feels like Zelda Breath of the Wild so much. So yeah, I really wanted to recreate that. I was also inspired by just like the Tinkerbell movies, all the fairy books I read growing up. And yeah, if you didn't know, I'm like massively obsessed with fairies. So I, my whole town is going to be like fairy type themed. But this is the first area that I've really sort of actually made feel like a fairy area. So I really, really love this area so much. 
like I said, I only crafted this like this afternoon, so I'm just really happy with it for the moment. I'm probably going to put some more trees and pathways and flowers and things like that. But for the moment, this is it. Um, I'm probably going to try and make it more secluded and messy. And up here, I made this earlier as well. Um, it's my magic money tree, so I made it look like there's this just like magical tree in the middle of this fountain, and it grows money, and it's just so magical and maybe fairies made it grow money or something like that. I just really really like it over here, I think it's so beautiful. Um, I know it's not, it doesn't really make sense because how would you get up there and where did the fountain start from? There's so many questions but you know the answer can just be the fairies did it, you know? I just really like this area, as I said I just made it this afternoon, like just a couple of hours ago so yeah it's not like the best it could be but this is what I've just been working on for the moment. And yeah, just this area is pretty empty for now. There's um, the fortune teller area over there. And yeah, if you hop over here, you just end up right back at the Able Sisters. So I'm definitely gonna try uh, cut those two areas off so you don't just go from the Able Sisters straight to a magical fairy pond. Um, Cause I really want it to feel like more of a secret place that you just come across and are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this was here, you know? And so over here is just the messy forest. I haven't done anything to this area yet because um, I'm planning on filling it with mushroom furniture and things like that to make it a massive fairy forest. But for now there's just a futon and a picnic basket and pillows and books and stuff. Like someone has come out here to the forest and is just um, chilling and having a picnic and stuff like that. That's this area for now. So yeah, I think that's about it for my town actually for the moment. Um, it's only been two weeks, but I really like what I've done so far. It might not be as much compared to other people, but... I thought I'd show you guys it anyway because yeah I just feel like I've been uploading lots of let's plays and I haven't actually spoke to you guys about what I'm doing with my town. So yeah I thought this was a nice change of pace. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me walk around my town and things like that. Yeah I just really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's head back to my house and yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas um, for things I could do in my town feel free to let me know. If you'd like me to do another town tour in another two weeks or a month or so, or whenever, um, please do let me know because I'll happily make another one. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, so if you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe, only if you want to though. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!